Today is a great day to make a real counting machine for cash from cardboard. And will I be able to turn the fan on whenever I want? Well, sure you will. But not to blow away all the cash again. First, we need to cut out a part like this. It will be the base for our counting machine. Guys, be careful with the cutter. The king of cardboard and master of cutting is always ready. Give me a task. Of course. There are more sheets with outline parts. Can you do it? That's no biggie. Start the countdown. Hmm. Let's add some color. Up. 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 Here. Great. It's time to glue. But be careful with hot glue, guys. And this wall goes right here. I still don't get it, Sue. Why do we need these holes? Don't worry, Sammy. Soon you'll see. Sue, I have one more question. Why is there a red square in the center? This looks suspicious to me. So I would be grateful if you could share this info with me. <sighs> Sam, you're rushing as always. We'll need to glue another wall. Let's apply the glue carefully on this fold. There we go. Aha! Right. This goes here carefully. Wait, Susie, I got it. Here, we'll place the mechanism. That's right. I love mechanism. Can you guys... Do you love them? Give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel! Wow, so cool! Oh, Sammy, I see you already found the next part of our craft. So let's add some glue to its surface. And this spring goes right here. I'm taking care of not only the parts, but I'm also thinking about decor. Oh? I can't wait to find out about your ideas. Your decor always makes our craft super cool. But for now, fetch the wooden skewers, please. We'll need them soon, too. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't slip, my friend. The skewers are delivered with the speed of light. Thumbs up for me. Roar! Great, Sammy. And just in time. Now using the skewers, we'll be able to fix everything here like this. Dear viewers, the secret of the mysterious cuts is revealed. Oh, Sammy, I can't hide anything from you. We'll cut off the excess here. Guys, remember about safety while working with pliers. Watch them in war! This is so much fun, too! <laughs> but that's not all. We also need to attach this thingy on top. And add more glue. Don't forget about this side, too. And another part. We'll attach it carefully. To load the cache here, we'll need to push like this. Cool, right? Hey, Sue, look what I made. Whoa, Sammy, you're a wonder. I did my best. Guys, this is one of the most important parts of our machine, the roller. Look, thanks to these wheels, our roller will spin. And these rubber bands will pick up the banknotes one by one. And how will this roller spin? Shall we do it manually? Of course not. We'll attach it to these motors from each side. Let's use our trusty hot glue. It will hold the motor really well. There you go. And let's repeat it on the other side. Two, I made another wheel and applied some glue. Cool, Sammy. This small wheel will spin the big one, but soon you'll see everything for yourself. A small part of a big mechanism. <laughs> Sammy, you're a philosopher. <laughs> Come on, turn the motors already. Wait, mister, in a hurry. We still haven't connected them to the batteries. Oh, right. Guys, we'll use some editing magic. And you can ask an adult help with wires. And... Kazam! It's a success! Let's move on! We'll need these for the next step. My parts are also ready. Great, Sammy. Look, guys, these tubes are made of paper. One is thicker and another one is really thin. Now let's use what I prepared. We'll put the rubber bands on the roller like this. Hi, the mozzarella. This looks like a lollipop. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. <laughs> a little. I think it's time for someone to go fetch some Oreos. 
You'll miss the most interesting part! Whoosh! Oh, what did I miss? Well, just a little bit of magic. Oh, magic or sweets. It's always a hard choice. We need to glue another motor from one side. Oh, we have so many motors today! They won't be spinning too fast, will they, Susie? We'll prevent it. With the help of this controller, Sammy. Hop. We just need to attach the last tube to the body. But first, we need to attach it to this simple cardboard part. With the help of a wooden skewer. Just like this. We'll cut off the excess. Mm -hmm. Snap! And using hot glue, we'll attach it to the main mechanism. So, when will we test our mechanism? I can't wait to start counting my precious money! <laughs> A few more moments, Sammy. We still need to attach the button. Now let's connect all the wires. <laughs> Speaking scientifically, complete the circuit. Let's insert the button into this part. And then attach it to the body. Sammy, perfect timing! We'll place this here. Here we go. Awesome! Sammy, check it out! Wait, I still don't know how many bills I loaded into our machine. Who's gonna count them? Oh, right, Sammy. We must complete our craft. By adding a simple mechanism that will show the exact amount of cash. More cardboard! Now we'll need a part like this. Look, we've already inserted pieces of tubes here. It showed the mechanism part can spin easily. Yes, Sammy. You're totally right. Now we'll use these circles of different sizes to make small wheels. Let's insert a wooden skewer into the hole. We'll add some glue to the center. And on the edges to make it sturdier. More glue! I want this machine to surf for ages! <laughs> okay, Sammy. Now we'll attach this part to the base of the counting machine. And a small wheel on the other side. It was made by Sam, our expert in small wheels. <gasps> Looks like a kebab. Hmm, now I'm hungry. <laughs> well, I can't wait to finish this counting machine. Then we'll know for sure how many real kebabs we can buy. Then we'll need to cut out these parts real quick. Leave it to me! I have a black belt in cardboard cutting! hi There you go! <laughs> oh, you're so cool, Sammy! Thank you, thank you! Whoosh! Hey, Susie, can I connect these parts? Sure, Sammy. And I'll finish our main wheel. Here we'll have the measuring scale. We'll glue a paper strip here. Carefully, don't rush here. Done! Da -da -da -done. Awesome, Sammy! We'll add it to my part. Up. Great. Hey, mechanism lover, how about making everything spin here? Snap. Ah, another one. I'll make them spin and move. Just like cogs in a Swiss watch. Ta -da! Sammy. Hi. Bring me the pencil, please. Here it is. Thanks. Now your task, Sammy, is to lightly push this button, and as soon as this tube makes a full turn, I'll mark it. Ready? Sure I am! You know that pushing buttons is totally my thing. <laughs> Don't rush. Here we go. Stop! Stop! Oh! Stop! Like this. Here. Everything's ready. So sang! Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. That's right. We need the decor. Yay! So I worked on it in the breaks between helping you and snacking. It's <laughs> such cool decor. But it reminds me of something. What could it be? Mm, something not really connected to finance? Well, I was thinking. It's our brain that counts things, right? Right. And who likes brains most of all? Um, zombies? Yes, Sue! Zombies! So my decor reflects it. I don't quite get your logic, but okay. Huh. Oh, Sue, help! There's a hand on my head! Just kidding, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's coming out really cool! Yes, it's 
was made by a master decorator. Hooray! It's finally done! Are you ready to find out how rich you are? Are you kidding me? I'm always ready to count money. But it's important to have something to count, right, Sammy? Lunch. Oh, I could watch this forever. Hail the great Tibby Dabba, it's working! Wait a sec. I thought I had more money. Maybe a zombie took some? Are you sure? Huh, right. I remember now. I bought a big package of Oreos, ate them with milk. Mmm, Oreos sounds great. I'm actually hungry. Well, I mean, I already ate them all. <gasps> Sammy! Don't worry, Susie. I'll buy more in a moment. Uh, I'll just do this. Oh, this naughty slime. And you guys, subscribe to our channel and make crafts together with us. Bye-bye! Hi guys! Today Sammy and I are going to make a van to survive a monster apocalypse! Get out of the way, zombies! <laughs> that was fast! You can use any Lego van with remote control for this craft. We'll just need the lower part anyway. Transform this toy car into the coolest post apocalyptic fan! <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't look great on paper, but the result will amaze you, I promise! I should stay alert. Those slime monsters won't sleep at all. <laughs> Sam is on the watch today, so I guess I'm doing my best with this van on my own. We'll construct a model of the future vehicle using paper templates and cardboard pieces. Sammy, believe me, I know that the sooner we make this van, the better you'll feel. So I'll definitely hurry up. And the monster evasion had already begun. We'd have heard about that on the news. Okay, I get it. I pulled myself together and I'm ready for crashing. Here you go! Yay, I'm rooting for you! And now we'll make the front part of the hull. There we go. Phew, that was quite a challenge. Uh, Sam, what have you been doing there? I had this sudden inspiration, so I decided to help you. Really? Can I see? Well, what do you say, Raj? Excellent work! Now we can move to the next part. We need to create a smooth surface on this base. That means you'll need lots of long paper strips to glue them to the van. Thanks, Sam. No problem! We'll start from the front side and move back strip by strip. We're going to carefully cut them to create smooth creases. This way. Roger, we must finish it before dawn. Monsters are more active in the dark. <laughs> Got it. I'll do it as fast as I can. Set the time. Holy cannoli! Now I believe humanity has a chance to survive! Thanks for the high appreciation of my skills! Humans and good slimes 1, zombies 0. This mosquito net will be the base for the putty. It's used to smooth the surface and fill in the holes and other defects. I like working with wood, so putty is always in handy. It looks like peanut butter! Can I try it, Rob? No way, Sammy, it's not edible! Okay, let's start. Oh. We're gonna spread this putty on the surface using a spatula. There you go. 
Only smooth touches, guys. Roger, are we really gonna cover the whole van this way? Yeah, sure. Do you have any troubles with that? Ah, it'll take so long! But we can't use magic all the time, Sam. Ugh, then I'll go shoot a video for my vlog. Oopsie, I forgot my... Hey, you already finished? <laughs> Sue taught me some tricks. Guys, in reality, it takes more time. Yeah, thanks to video editing and my acting skills for that. <laughs> Sammy, are you going to contact the aliens or something in that hat? Why not? We need everyone to fight against slime monsters! Or to run away together. <laughs> Guys, we used foil to make a new layer for the model. And now we're covering it with tape. This will be a face polymer clay! Sam, why didn't you use a rolling pin instead? I just like trying different ways. Always stay creative, you know? <laughs> Give me that, Sam. Let's roll small pieces of the clay, one millimeter thick each. Then we'll cut it in rectangular strips. That's easy. Take that, zombie. Looks like we have a cooking craft today. <laughs> it also seems like slime monsters have no chances. <laughs> what? Are they here? Where? Where? Huh? It was just my prediction for the future. Sammy, you need some distraction. Check out how I transfer the outline to the van onto the clay base. Yeah, it's kind of mesmerizing. Wow, it came out so cool! Now let's bake it in the oven at 130 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Don't go anywhere, guys! And here is the final result. This is a real hold that we'll upgrade, paint, and decorate. We need a safe van that can drive through hordes of slime monsters! And not only them, but also vampires, zombies, evil trolls, and ogres and ah! And while Sam is trying to recollect all the monsters in the world, we'll glue a new layer of mosquito net on the inner part of our model. There we go. Perfect. Did I miss it all? Shiver me, Cheddars. I can't be called a crafter anymore. Don't worry, Sam. The most exciting part is going to be later. You're going to be doing a test drive. Wow. Did you hear that, my little monster? Oh, Roger, come on, hurry up! I really want to try driving this van! There you go, Sammy! By the way, some Lego pieces will come in handy right now! Let's make headlamps using them! And check out this door opening mechanism! Hop, hop! And here's another fun detail on the very top! You're an engineering geek, Roger! <laughs> you bet! that I made. That's awesome, Sammy. Perfect fit. This van will certainly pass through all the bumps and pits on the road. <laughs> but it's still not safe if monsters overtake us. Just look at these open windows and a doorway. Then we better lock them up. No slimy tentacles will reach us there. Roger, this van is mind-blowing! I know! Just a few more details like this... And this one... Oh! Our van even has its own armor! Bam! Zombies will suffer today! <laughs> There's no way they can escape! <laughs> we should use all ideas! Even the crazy ones. A voodoo doll? Really, Sam? Hmm, looks cool, though. And a white teddy bear! Don't ask me why, I'm just going with the flow! Let's place them here, then. Now we use the primer to prepare the van for painting. Don't forget to protect your faces and hands! 
safety comes first. This is the van covered with prime paint. Like they say, post-apocalyptic world is doomed. Roger, I brought you the paint. Oh, great choice. That's exactly what we need. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> wow, this color looks awesome on the van. Do you agree, guys? And give us a thumbs up. Bam! Now the post-apocalyptic future doesn't look boring, huh? And we'll imitate metallic color with the silver paint. Holy cannoli, we did it! Just some final touches and it'll look perfect! Guys, by so-called final touches, Sam means paintings that will decorate our van. Woohoo, check it out! These paintings give tribute to our channel. Doesn't it look awesome? Now let's add some cool signs. There you go! Great, Roger! Do we have to make something else? Yeah, let's make it look shabby! Wow, now this fan really looks like it had escaped the arms of monsters! 